Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring the short dial codes on an AS5300 with the provisioning client. In today's demo, I'll show how to provision a short dial code in a domain, create a short dial code, and delete a short dial code. We'll be starting today's demo with the provisioning client open. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura application server 5300 release 2.0 using the provisioning client guide at the link shown. Now let's get started. So I've just opened the provisioning client. First thing we need to do to define our short dial codes is we need to verify that the domain has the short dial code service applied to it. So we go under domain, domain steps, assign service. And this opens up the service portlet. The domain that we're going to be working with is the DS auto sipped one Dot com domain so we'll just click on the view button we'll scroll down to the short code service and we can see that the short dial code is not selected for this domain so we'll just check it and then click on save and we get a message that the service was assigned successfully now the uh, short dial code service requires resources to be assigned to it so we'll need to go under domain domain steps assign resources and we'll view the domain. And if we scroll down, we can see the uh, short dial code subscribers. And uh, right now we have zero assigned, so we'll just uh, assign a block of 10. So for each user, um, one resource will be required. So for each user that has the service assigned to their profile, we'll use up one resource. And then we just click on the save. We get a message that the resources were assigned successfully. And now um, one last thing that we need to do before we can define our dial, our short dial codes is we need to uh, add it to a user so that a user can use these codes. So we'll just go search. We'll just search for all users in the DS2 auto SIP domain. And we'll select the 1037 user under services. Scroll down to the short dial codes and we select it for this user's profile and click on save. And we get a message that the service was assigned successfully and that we'll need to configure the profile in order to use the service. So the next thing we need to do is now that our user has the rights to access it and the domain has resources assigned to the service we'll need to go into go into services call origination short dial codes and that opens our short dial code portlet and we'll click on the view for the ds2 autosip1.com domain and to add our short code so users can dial a vertical service code to get access to a predefined number so this is where we add all of our predefined destination codes. We can use a, a name. In this case, uh, let's say we, we have to uh, call the shop floor all the time and uh, we'll just uh, call this Kevin speed dial. And the prefix um, we'll just use, you can use a pound or a star and up to five digits. So in this case, I'm just going to use a pound and then two, two, two. Now, we have to be careful here because vertical service codes need to be unique in the system. So if you have already defined some vertical service codes, make sure that you're not overlapping. You'll get a message telling you that it couldn't save it because it was um, already used. In this case, let's just make sure that we don't have uh, duplication there. And uh, I'm just gonna use a SIP destination here. And once we've entered in our SIP destination or our URI, we can just click on add. And we get a message saying that the short dial code was saved successfully. And we can see it down here in our list, Kevin Speed Dial, the prefix and the URI. Now we can go ahead and add any number of short dial codes. One final thing is just to remove a short dial code, we can click on delete. 
And since this is service affecting action, we need to uh, authorize it with the admin password and click on confirm. And we get a message that the short dial code feature was deleted successfully. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.